Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Lason, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about problem solving involving arithmetic and geometric sequence. Before we proceed to our example about problem solving involving arithmetic and geometric sequence, let us recall first what is an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. The rule in finding the n term of the arithmetic sequence is given a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where your a sub 1 is your first term, a sub n is the nth term, and d is the common difference. And we have also the rule in finding the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic sequence. We have s sub n equals to n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Let's have example number 1. A company offers Mark a starting annual salary of 350,000 pesos with raises of 25,000 pesos per year. What will be his salary on the 12th year? So we have here to identify first what is the first term. So we have the first term here, the annual salary, starting annual salary, we have 350,000 pesos. And your N here is finding the 12th term or the 12th year. And then the common difference is the, uh, his salary will be raised uh, 25,000 per year. So that means that is the common difference. So let's substitute that one to our uh, formula in finding the arithmetic sequence. A sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we have now a sub 12 is equal to 350,000 plus 12 minus 1 times 25,000. Let's simplify first 12 minus 1. So we have now a sub 12 is equal to 350,000 plus 11 times 25,000. We have 11 times 25,000, so we have 275,000 plus the first term 350,000. That means our a sub 12 is 625,000 pesos. On the 12th year, his annual salary will be 625,000 pesos. Example number two, Trisha saves from her school allowance as follows. For in the first week, he, she saved 100 pesos. On the second week, he sa she saved 150 pesos. And on the third week, she saves 200 pesos. And so on. Until, until she made 55 savings. What was the amount of her last savings? So let's identify the first term. We have the given sequence 100, 150, and 200, and so on. So that means our first term is 100. Our nth term, or we're going to find the 55th term. And then the uh, common difference based on the given problem is one. Uh, the, in the sequence 100, 150, and 200, the common difference is 50. Substitute that one to the given arithmetic uh, sequence equation a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we have a sub 55 equals to 100, the first term, plus 55, that is n minus 1, times d, the common difference, which is 50. Simplify 55 minus 1, so we have a sub 55 is equals to 100 plus 54 times 50. 54 times 50, we have 2,700, so we have 100 plus 2,700, so that means our A sub 55 is 2,800. On the 55th week, Trisha will be saving 2,800 pesos. Example number 3. There are 125 passengers in the first train, 150 passengers in the second train, and 175 passengers on the third train, and so on is in an arithmetic sequence. The problem is, what's the total number of passengers in the first seven train? So solution, since we have the sequence 125 in the first train, 150 in the second train, 175 on the third train, and so on. So our given here, our a sub 1 is 125, a sub 2 is 150, a sub 3 is 175, and n, will be 7 since we are going to find the 
total number of the first passengers of the first seven trains. And the common difference is 25. Since 175 minus 150 is 25, 150 minus 25 is 25. So we are going to first, uh, we are going to find the, uh, the first seven terms of the given sequence. So in here, the last term is not given. Thus, we have to use the formula S sub n equals to n over 2 times 2 times the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Substitute the given, so we have your S sub 7 is equal to 7 over 2 times 2 times 1 to 5 plus 7 minus 1 times 25. Simplify the terms in the parentheses. So we have 7 minus 1, we have 6. So 6 times 25, we have uh, 150. And 2 times 125 is 250. So simplify here in the uh, bracket no terms. So 120, uh, 250 plus 150, we have 400. So 7 over 2 times 400, so we have 7 times 400, we have 2,800 divided by 2. That means the sum of the first 7 terms or the total number of the passengers in 7 chain is 1,400. Now in geometric sequence, a geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. Rules in finding the n term of the geometric sequence, we have a sub n is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where your, uh, where your r must not equal to 0, and your a sub 1 is your, the first term, the a sub n is the n term of the geometric se uh, sequence, and r is the common ratio. Now, this is the rule in finding the sum of the first terms of the geometric sequence. Uh, if r must not equal to uh, it must not equal to one, so we will use s sub n is equals to a sub one minus a sub n times r over one minus r. Now, if your r is equal to one, so we have s sub n is equals to n times a, and then if r is a negative one and n is an even, so that means your s sub n is equals to zero. And if your r is negative 1 and your n is odd, that means your s sub n is, is equal to your first term. Example number 4. You land a job as a police officer. Your sal salary of the first year is 43,125 pesos. You will receive 7% increase every year. How much will be your salary at, the at your first seek after at the start of the sixth year? Solution. So is the first term here is 43,125. That is your first salary. And your N is finding the sixth year. And your ratio is 1.07 since 107% of the, that is the 107% of your previous amount. So change that one into decimal. So we have 1.07. So let's substitute that one into a sub n equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So we have a sub 6 is equals to 43,125 times 1 1.07 raised to 6 minus 1. So we have a sub 6 is equals to 43,125 times 1 1.07 raised to 5. Uh, simplify this one, expand this one. So 1 1.07 raised to 5 is 1.402555 at uh, 25517 times 43125 so that means your on the 6th year your salary starts at 60485 pesos in 1991 example number 5 in 1991 the average cell phone bill was 87.60 pesos while the average cell phone bill will uh, bill decreased four percent each year, what is the average cost of the cell phone in the bill, a uh, cell phone bill in the year two thousand two? Round your answer to the nearest tens. So our first term here is eighty seven point sixty. So that that means in the year nineteen ninety one, the average cell phone bill is eighty seven point sixty. We're going to find the 
uh, n is equals to 12 since 2000 to uh, minus 1991 is 12. And the ratio here is, that means it will be decreased into 4%. So 100 minus, 100% minus 4, we have 96% of the previous amount. Change that one to decimal, so that is 0 0.96. Substitute that one to our given geometric sequence uh, formula. A sub n is equals to A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. So we have now A sub 12 is equals to 87.60 times 0 0.96 raised to 12 minus 1. So we have now 87.60 times 0 0.96 raised to 11. 0 0.96 raised to 11, so we have 0 0.6382393 times 87.60, so we have now A sub 12, that is 56. That means the average cost of the cell phone bill in the year 2002 is 56 pesos. Last example, let's find the sum of the first nine terms of the geometric sequence whose the first term is three and the common ratio is four so we have here the first term three and n here is the uh, nine terms and the common ratio is four so substitute this one into your uh, in finding the sum of the uh, first n terms of your geometric sequence which is s sub n is equals to a sub one times one minus r raised to n over 1 minus r so we have now s sub 9 is equals to 3 times 1 minus 4 raised to 9 over 1 minus 4 so in your numerator simplify 4 raised to 9 so we have 2 6 2 1 4 4 and then in your denominator 1 minus uh, 1 minus 4 is negative 3 so we can uh, uh, reduce this one divide both sides by 3 so we have now s sub 9 is equals to 1 uh, times negative uh, 2, uh, 1 minus 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 4. So we have negative 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 3. So times 1, so we have negative 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 3, divide negative 1. So we have your, our s sub 9 is equals to positive 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 3. That means, therefore, the sum of the first nine terms of the geometric given geometric sequence is 262143. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you've learned something out of, the les of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it to your grade 8 friends. Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye!